through. And I you just crash harder. I'm I crash so much harder, but I'm also less productive than if I just stayed in the bed. Yeah. You know, I uh, that's one of the things I've had an issue with is like maybe my understanding of mental health is not fully accurate, but I'm imagining there is a sliding scale, hmm. right? So before I knew there was a sliding scale, I thought there's either depression or not depressed, just hmm. bummed. Yeah. Right. So I had a hard time identifying myself and I don't know if I'm, I haven't been clinically diagnosed or anything, but I have a hard time accepting, okay, well you are depressed yeah. because I know people who have had severe depression to the point of getting medicated yeah. and I'm not being medicated, but am I, yeah. do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. The so. way, the way that I kind of came around to it and <clears throat> um, not to saying acting is the way to go but like there's so many different ways but it's through acting that I kind of came to that realization where and tied it into depression where there is no there aren't no levels of depression mm. where depression is just you are depression. Or you are not. yeah interesting and so taking the example of a five-year-old kid who just got broken up with on the playground mm-hmm. versus a 40-year-old marriage that ended. Mm-hmm. Whose heart hurts more? Well, what's depression then? Because that's my versus sadness. I'm sad or I'm heartbroken. Just is- you admitting it. Because I look back at so many moments where I would say I'm depressed and then laugh about it. Mm-hmm. And if maybe I stopped seeing it because like, or it, it got desensitized when I'd say I'm depressed and then my friends don't care. Right. So it that's all it is, is your admonition of it. If you wake up and you say that you're feeling depressed, mm-hmm. depressed is such a very particular word in our vocabulary. Right. So that I think that you are subliminally telling yourself in that moment that you're depressed. Don't overlook it. Interesting. Yeah. See, I took it more as like, you know, and then this is where like society has done their job of, of ranking it by making it clinical. Clinical is very subjective. Right. Because even right. around the world where there's different ways pra- people practice medicine. So to say somebody is clinically depressed, so are, does that mean you're now eliminating what it means to just be depressed? No, I took, I took <clears throat> depression to be like more long-term severe sadness, deep sadness, or not just mm. sadness, but like... 50, whatever, but whatever this is, is this vocal. is the thing you also have to understand depression isn't sadness depression is trauma mm. depression mm. is yourself getting beat up sadness is an emotion because like when you're depressed and okay, you fake it you're still so depressed depression's not an emotion is what you're saying yeah okay that's that clarifies but yeah. it translates through your emotions right but depression is mm. your body literally telling you something Oof. so is trauma depression trauma creates depression amongst other things yeah Ooh, this is interesting. but like even even that where tra- whatever trauma creates it, it's pulling you away from the real you the person who can just let go of things but like when you're traumatized let's say let's say it makes you angry instead of sad mm-hmm. you getting belligerent in a situation that doesn't call you to be belligerent is just that trauma and it's a depression inside you so are you saying that the real you collective mm-hmm person individual is neutral and able to let things go so maybe not just neutral but like neutral but on the and happy and trauma basically weighs you down and affects you in different ways mm-hmm. so we're all naturally are now are it's okay hang on let me just get my words together so we're we have a natural ability to let things go Yes, that is how human beings are supposed to. But then we have been ingrained to hold on we to. Calcified. What does calcification have to do with it? Because when you have trauma, instead of letting it go, you kind of hold mm. on to it. Yeah, yeah. And then you get more, more, and more. And but more then and more. calcification, I think that's that's just the body protecting itself, where we Not physical calcification. Yeah, okay. emotionally. Yeah. But then, like, for you to grab onto things and not let go is a choice. That's not calcification. Oh, see, this is, this is, okay. You've hit a button because I agree. I agree wholeheartedly on an intellectual level, but I have a hard time 
implementing that mm. physically, mm-hmm. like not physically, but like in, in practice, putting that into practice. And that's part of the debate of like, am I depressed or am I having a tantrum? It, it's all about, again, like anxiety. Do I have anxiety or do I, whatever? It's mm-hmm. like, you know, these moments of like, how do you just let say, okay, I'm fine. Like, how do you, ge- that's what, how do you genuinely let something go? Have to be genuine. I don't know, but mm. you know, like I will say, when I had that severe it's, anxiety, as, that that just go back to it. So it's like if you have a moment of feeling a certain way, just wait till a few moments later, and then did I do I regret that? Do I not? So then it's like now you're aware of it, whereas opposed to just being in the moment and thinking, is this it genuine? Is this not genuine? Where if you think it's genuine. If let's say, for example, I want to be unselfish and I say I give a homeless person a hundred dollars. Is it, um, was that, you know, a genuine thing or now am I sharing it to my friends did later? Did I record myself right? giving it? Don't, yeah. Where it's like, did I, you know, so what was my real purpose now? Right. So it's like, if I can go back to it and look at it and have some kind of thoughts, then that's where um, I'll feel away and then I'll mm-hmm. change for the next time right but then it's actually going back so if you're in if you're i don't know pick an emotion um sadness sure okay okay you wake up that morning you know i feel depressed about this you Is said it... sadness but now if we're depressed let's, let's... if i if i wake up again it's, it's a matter of words that i use where it's like if i wake up and i'm like i'm sad okay i can deal with that but then it's like yeah. oh, so if, if you, i wake up so okay let's go in the context of okay i feel depressed about this mm-hmm. whatever it is mm-hmm. How do you let go of that? How, or do you observe that? What do you, and what do you do? I honor it. I got to find out w- why am I holding on to it? Do you break down like the emotions that are attached? I to- do it logically. So it's like, that's the thing is like, I go step by step and logically think, why is this weighing me down? Mm-hmm. And then if it, let's say it boils, let's say, for example, this doesn't work. Mm-hmm. I'm depressed. Why am I depressed that this doesn't work? Because I needed to light a smoke. But are you depressed or are you like bummed or sad that this doesn't work? But it, it, it just goes down to honoring the feeling of this is affecting me. Why okay. is this affecting me? To this degree. Yeah. I got you. And then it's like when you get to the end of let's let's say it ends at, oh, because if it's not working, then I can't light my smoke. Oh, I have another thing. I got you. Now I've given myself a reason to not feel that way. Okay. Until I get to that point of I don't have to feel that way, then it's I'm going to hold on to it and it's going to weigh me down. Hmm. 